Hey, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Noah Shaw or Ford Six Fo, and today we've got my 2015 Six Seven work truck behind me. And as you can see, there's just a huge dent in the bed. So we're actually gonna be taking this factory bed off today and selling it to someone and picking up my new flat bed to swap on. So let's go ahead, open up the shop, get the work truck pulled in and under the lift so we can take the bed off of the truck. So the first thing we went ahead and did is pull it into the shop and under the lift so we can get this thing all unbolted, all the Torx 8 bolts in the bed and then the hooks off my factory gooseneck. And then I'm going to lift it up with my two posts, get it off. And yes, the bed's super dirty. I've been riding around the ranch with it, but I'm going to get it pressure washed off and then we're going to swap it over. Let's go ahead and dive right into it and get all of these Torx bolts unbolted and the hooks. And I'm going to go ahead and position all of the lift post arms angled and under the bed. Like so. Same thing on the passenger side. We're going to go ahead and get our lift arm out and to the corner of the bed. Just so we can lift straight up and take it off. And I'm going to go ahead and raise up the two post lift till we're just about touching the bed. Just like that, just get it barely touching. I'm gonna to rotate them to where they all align straight, get everything adjusted to where it lifts up all at the same time. And I actually went ahead and swapped my lift pads to the circle ones just so we don't scratch or dent the side of the bed even more than it already is. And now we just need some tools. I'm gonna to grab my stubby impact and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a Torx 50 socket. And as y'all can see, I've got that cutoff wheel out, so we're having a little bit of a problem. All of the bolts are seized, so I went and sprayed PB under and on top, and we actually even broke the Torx 50 socket right in half. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grind off, or cut off the top part of the bolt and just punch them out and through. And then I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt the two parts for the chain, and then we should be good. So I'm gonna get to cutting all these bolts off. And while we're at it, I went ahead and disconnected the gooseneck hitch wiring, and then we're just gonna tuck that harness back in and let it slide down so when we lift off the bed, it doesn't get caught. So I just got the rest of the half of the first bolt cut, and we're gonna repeat this process to all the others, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tap the bolt out now. On the top, the bolt will come out, and then we can lift the bed up. So we're just going to repeat this to the other seven bolts, and then get this bed off. Also, I'm just going to disconnect all of the bolts for the fuel line and the deck line as well. We're gonna pop those off so we can get the truck bed all the way off. I'm gonna go ahead and lift the bed off the truck now. And now we're gonna go ahead and open up the shop and get the truck pulled out. And before we get the new flatbed on, I'm just gonna go ahead and pressure wash the, all the underneath. And then I went ahead and sledgehammered all of the bed bolts out that we cut out. And now I'm just gonna take the rear bumper off with the four nuts holding it on. And we're looking 10 times better. I went ahead and have been pressure washing the frame for a couple minutes now. I degreased it a little bit and we're gonna get it really clean before we get this new flatbed off. We also got the rear bumper off of the truck and I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to take our factory receiver off, which is gonna be the four bolts on each side from underneath. And then we are gonna be good to have the whole receiver off.
and it is now the following morning as we wait for our new flatbed to arrive so lastly i'm just going to go ahead and get the gooseneck off with the 19 mil on the front and back side and as you can see we already got the whole rear end with the receiver and everything taken off and ready for that blank canvas to lay that flatbed on there we're just going to separate the gooseneck in three sections to make it a lot easier to get out And just like that, our whole gooseneck assembly is off and the truck is looking super bare now, but we are good to throw the flatbed on. Definitely gonna look a lot better with one of these on the back of the truck. So we're gonna get it backed up and unloaded with the skidster. Get the skid out now, we're gonna get the bed off of the trailer. And they're actually gonna be picking up the bed off of my old truck as well. And just like that, we've got my new skirted flatbed all laid out and ready to go on the work truck. And they went ahead and took away my OEM bed. And we're going to get started on the process of fabbing this up to fit. And now in order to put the flatbed on, we just need to go grab some two inch square tubing to mount to the front and the rear and some tabs to bolt the frame to the new bed. And I just went ahead and made do with what I've got right here. And I strapped it up and we're going to get some two inch tubing welded to the cross member and then get some plates mounted up to get the flatbed mounted to the truck and bolted in with some new hardware. And just for preventative measures before we go ahead and place the bed down now that we have the cross members out, I went ahead and put some tape around the cab just so we don't scratch it up at all. So I actually went ahead and repeated the exact same process, but I swapped out to this thicker gauge metal and tabs just because I know I'm going to be pulling a lot heavier. So we're going to do it right and I'm going to add one more section across and then get the bed all mounted back in place just like we did before but with this thicker metal. Now I finally got the flatbed all the way laid out and aligned where I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the truck into the shop now. And now we've got the truck all inside the shop, we've got the AC cranked up and we're gonna go ahead and get this thing up on the two post lift in the air and get it all aligned and mounted in place. But man, does that black bed just really correlate good with those black and machine wheels. I'm really excited to see the final product, get all the lighting wired up and finally have a flat bed for once for one of my trucks. And I've got all our lift points set and we're gonna lift up on the truck now, get it off the ground the air and set it down on the lockers. so that's going to wrap it up for the flatbed install on my 2015 f-250 so if you did enjoy please leave a like down below comment let me know if you like the oem bed or the new flatbed more and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel for more content just like this but other than that i'll see y'all next time thank you for watching